we can create something called clusters in XSI to group different components of objects together for specific reasons. Now, the types of reasons and applications this is used for are various and many. To create clusters is pretty simple. We can create clusters from points, polygons, even edges. So let me show you very quickly how to create a cluster. What I'll do is select this cube object that I have here that's uh, subdivided many times. I'll hit U on the keyboard to activate ray casting polygon selection mode. And I'll select some polygons here. I'll hold down shift to select more polygons. So here I have these polygons selected, which you can see in red. What I can do is create a cluster two ways. I can either use the keyboard shortcut, which is control L, or I could come to the MCP, go down underneath the edit panel here, and click on the cluster button. So I'll click on cluster, and you can see the cluster is selected right now, and it's white. The cluster was created from the polygons that I had selected. So what I'll do is hit enter on the keyboard at this point to open up the PPG for the selected cluster. And I can change the name, which usually helps when working with clusters, especially if you're going to be working with many clusters on the same object. So I'll call it cluster test. And here I can change the color of the cluster. Right now it's set to green at a value of 255, which means that it's going to be pure green. I can change it to pretty much any color I want by changing these parameters around. Let me close the PPG for the cluster. Now I know it said green and they appear white here. The reason it's white here is because the cluster is currently selected. Just like when we select this object in object mode, the wireframe of it appears in white. So the cluster will appear white when it's selected, just like when I select this cube object in object mode. Now, you can't see the cluster. However, we can, we can work with the cluster. And it's pretty simple. We can select the cube. We can go up here to this eye icon to change some of the visibility options of this specific viewport, viewport B. If we go down to an option that says unselected clusters, except sample in parentheses, turn that on. Whenever we have an object selected from any clusters that are on that object will appear in the color that we chose. Now the default color was green if you remember in the PPG and that's why this cluster comes out in green. So now we can actually view the cluster when the object is selected. And it disappears when the object is deselected. This is very useful for visualizing clusters and seeing exactly where they are on your object. So, those are clusters. Let's uh, go ahead and open up the property page for this, uh, or the scene explorer for this object, and have a little closer look at the cluster. If we have this cube selected, and we click on clusters here in the main command panel, we can see the clusters that belong to this object. Here's one cluster and here's another which I uh, ended up creating on top of the other one. So I have actually two clusters. If you want to get rid of a cluster, you can just select the cluster you want and hit delete on a keyboard to get rid of it. Now you notice that I only have one cluster right here. So I can delete this cluster or I can pretty much do anything I want. I can even grab the cluster and do different things to it like move it. So with the cluster selected, I can use the move tool to move that cluster of components wherever I want. Um, so I can move it like so, I can rotate the cluster, I can scale the cluster, I can do many things to this cluster that I want. So there you go, those are clusters in XSI and how to quickly go ahead and create a cluster and a few ways of manipulating and working with the cluster in Softimage XSI.